You are preparing a Unity game for a release on Steam and want to offer features like achievements and stats? In this case, you need to integrate the Steamworks API into your Unity project. Since I recently launched my game Cloud Escape on Steam, I know how to quickly integrate the Steamworks API into a Unity game. If you watch the video until the end, I'll give you some additional tips and tricks that will save you some time and may be useful to you. In this quick tutorial I show you how to do that using Steamworks.net, a free and open source C-sharp wrapper for Valve Steamworks API. Let's start with the requirements. What do you need in order to access all the cool Steam features? First, you need a Unity project, preferably running on a supported LTS Unity version. LTS stands for Long Term Support. If you watch this video in February 22, Unity 2019.4 LTS or Unity 2020.3 LTS are recommended. Then you need a valid app ID for your game. You automatically get an app ID after you create an application inside the Steamworks dashboard. And that's all you need. Now we can start with the actual integration. Installation. You have three options to include Steamworks.net into your Unity project. The easiest way to include Steamworks.net is the installation using a Unity package. You can download the latest Unity package from the official Steamworks.net GitHub page. You can find all links in the video description by the way. After downloading the Unity package, just double click it and you can see the package in your Unity package manager. Click on install, review all files that will be imported and click OK. You can also include Steamworks.net using the git clone function of the Unity package manager. Open your project's package manager and click on the small plus sign at the top left corner. A drop down menu appears and here you need to click add package from git URL. Here you need to enter a valid git repository URL. You can specify a version number within the URL if you want to include a specific steamworks.net version. The last option is to download the whole project as a zip file. Unzip it and manually place the corresponding folder into your project's asset folder. You need to move this folder right here into your asset folder. Edit the app ID. Now we proceed to change the default app ID to your game's app ID. This step is required to enable the connection between your game and the Steamworks backend. Where do you find your app ID? Open the Steamworks website and log in. You can now see the dashboard. Click on the game you want to integrate the Steamworks functions in. Here you can see your app ID. Copy it into an empty text document, we will need it multiple times from now on. And don't close your browser window yet. Open the file steam underscore app ID dot txt in the root folder of your project and replace the existing number 480 with your own app ID. Save the file and close it. Now you need to restart Unity, so it will recognize your changes. If you want to check for yourself how well I implemented the Steamworks API into my game, feel free to enter my monthly giveaway. With a little luck, you can win a Cloud Escape Steam Key. You can find all info on enbar.dev slash giveaway. Edit the Steam Manager. Now we need to open the following file, steammanager.cs, inside your script's steamworks.net folder. Now search for the following line inside this file. We need to insert our app ID right here. Change this line like this. Of course, you need to put your own app ID here and not the one from the tutorial. Why is this change important? This line of code checks if the game wasn't started correctly through Steam or if Steam isn't running at all. If that's the case, close the game, launch Steam, check if the user owns a copy of the game and then restart the game. This is the most basic layer of DRM. We can now save and close the file and head over to the Unity editor. Create an empty game object in your scene and add the Steam Manager component to it. It has no visible settings or parameters, but it's needed in every scene we want to access Steam functionalities. Now we have a working base and can implement features like achievements or stats. Let's create one of each and see what we need to do in order to make them work. Head over to Steamworks dashboard again, navigate to Edit Steamworks settings, Achievements. Here we need to add a new achievement before we can access and unlock it in our game. Enter an API name and remember it. Maybe add it to your temporary text document as well, as we'll need it soon in our script. Also enter a display name, a description and the corresponding images to it. You can also change some additional settings like the hidden state of the achievement. Save the achievement and then head over to the stats page. Same procedure here. Enter an API name and remember it as well. Also set a stat type, 
a display name and change some additional settings if you want. Save your stat and now let's get back to a Unity project. Now we can add logic to access and unlock our newly created achievement. In our example we want to unlock the achievement after the player has collected all coins in this level. Open an existing script or create a new one. This script should contain the logic that will later lead to the actual unlocking of our achievement. At the top of our script we need to state that we are using Steamworks so we can access all the Steamworks wrapper functions. Locate a point inside your script where you want to check if the achievement condition is met. In our example we have a coin manager script that contains a collect coin method that is called every time the player collects a coin. Since we want to check if the player has collected all coins of the current level, this is a good place to check if the achievement unlock condition is fulfilled. Every time we access Steam functionalities, we need to make sure that the Steam Manager is initialized. Now we can check if the current coin count is equal or greater than the maximum coin count. If that's the case, we can check if we've already completed the achievement using the getAchievement method. This method assigns the completion state of the achievement to a variable. If we haven't already completed the achievement, we can then unlock it using the setAchievement method. Notice that we need to pass the API name of our achievement every time we are using a method regarding stats or achievements. And finally, we can persist our data to the Steam servers using the method storeStats. We need to call this method every time we want to permanently store data on the Steam servers. Now the player will unlock this achievement after collecting all coins in level 1. Let's also add some logic to our newly created stat to track the total number of already collected coins in level 1. We can expand the already existing collect coin method with some extra stat logic. Every time the player collects a coin, we want to increase the corresponding stat and store the new data on the Steam servers. We already check if the Steam manager is initialized, so we don't need to do that twice. Since we want to increment the already collected coin stat by 1, we need to get the current stat value first. We can query a stat value using the getStat method. This method assigns the data to a variable. We can then increment this variable by 1 and update the stat using the setStat method. To persist the data to the Steam servers, we need to call the storeStats method again. Now for each coin that the player collects, the stat gets updated. With this logic we now have a full Steam integration featuring achievements and stats. Now let's get to some tips and tricks. Before you ship your game, remove the steam underscore app ID file from your final build. You don't need it anymore. You can test everything regarding Steamworks right inside the Unity editor. No need to create a standalone build every time. If Steam is showing that you are playing the game Space War, then you haven't changed the default app ID inside your steam underscore app ID file. The default app ID is 480 and corresponds to a dummy project called Space War. If you want to reset your already persisted stats, call the method ResetAllStats. If you want to remove already unlocked Steam achievements as well, call ResetAllStats and pass true as a parameter. Make sure to remove reset logic like this from your playtest and public builds. If there is no or a delayed Steam pop-up for unlocking achievements, that is because you don't call the runCallbacks method at regular intervals or your game is not calling the storeStats method. If you want to check if the user owns and has installed a DLC, you can call the BLS DLC installed method. Remember to pass the DLC's app ID and not your game's app ID. That's it for the tutorial. I hope it helped and you are now able to use the Steamworks integration in your game project. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If the tutorial was helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you want to support me even more, feel free to check out my game Cloud Escape on Steam. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Bye.